Hi, it's Mark Albert. Today we're going to look at uh, the rent to own program that's available in the mortgage market. Uh, what is it? Well, really, it's a program in which uh, you partner with another organization who has an investor. You pick a house, and if you qualify, the investor buys the house. You rent off that investor for a period of time, and then eventually you buy it back off that investor once you're able to at the end of a contract. We're gonna look at the details of that. We're gonna see kind of the, what it looks like if you have bruised credit and you wanna get involved in this. What about if you have good credit? We're also gonna look at the pros and cons, okay? And then that's what we're gonna do on this so you have a good understanding of it, this program. So let's get into it. <clears throat> For bruised credit, so basically, uh, to get involved in the program, the investor buys the house that you pick, but you have to put 5% down and 1% fee. Now, there's someone with Bruce credit. They have bad credit. They wouldn't be able to get a mortgage otherwise, okay? Mm -hmm. Then they're going to rent off that investor <coughs> anywhere between three to five years. Probably on the five-year side of things if they have Bruce credit. At the end of five years, they're going to buy it back from them. And so what happens is you must buy it back. So uh, there's consequences if you don't, you're gonna be in a contract. And that's why this particular one, this contract, you need to have a lawyer read it and give you advice legally whether you should or shouldn't because there's some, a, a certain level of risk involved in this program. <clears throat> so you need to have a lot of money. So basically the minimum is four times the income to value to the home value. And that just means the math is, if you make $100,000 times four, it's 400,000. So you can get a house on the minimum side of 400,000 in this program if you make, your, like your household income is 100,000. So if one spouse makes 70 and the other spouse makes 50, that's 120,000. So then they'd qualify for higher amount, around 480. So that's Bruce credit. One of the damage, one of the concerns I have with someone with Bruce credit getting in this program is you are going to rent off of the person who bought this at a very high rent price. And part of the rent goes into uh, the down payment that you're going to eventually have to do. But because your rent payments are so high, the person with Bruce credit usually there are patterns that help people develop so they eventually have bad credit. And if your rent payments are so high and you're not able to really fix the bad credit issues, by the time five years at the end of the contract is up and you have to buy that house, if your credit still is not good enough to qualify under the stress test, either an A or B lender, then you're in big trouble. So let's look at if you have good credit. If you have good credit, Maybe 3% down or 10,000, whichever one is greater, just to get in the program. You're pretty much looking at a three year program there because all they want to do is rent it for a time. All you want to do is rent it for a time and then yeah, you buy it out. Just give you enough time to buy it out. After three years, you must buy the house. So, same thing on the income. So, on the pro side. <clears throat> Now, before I get into the pros and cons, let me share a little bit about myself. I think when you approach an intersection and you're driving the car, you get a green light or an amber light, which is like yellow, or a red light. Well, green means, most of us think it means go, but it doesn't. According to the Highway Traffic Act, green means proceed with caution. Uh, amber, it means stop unless it's unsafe to do so, right? So you pick your point no return. And red light means stop. And so when I look at the pros and cons of this, I'm more of a red light kind of guy in terms of my attitude towards this program. Uh, I'm more of a red light versus a green light. Uh, I'm more of a red light versus an amber light. So I could be amber, it depends on the situation, but it's a bit of a high risk and that's how I see it. I think there's better ways to get a house. So. The pro side, your future, 
purchase price, it can be known in advance, which is good. You want to know that. It becomes a big problem is if the next four years, five years, the market kind of plateaus off, then it's a, it, it becomes a really big uh, issue. Initial fees may be used towards your down payment, which is a positive, right? So if you're going to put 3% down or 5% down you want to make sure that in your contract it's very clearly written that that money is used for your down payment and it should be if you work with proper uh, company for this so some of your rent will go towards the down payment so I'll give you an example so let's say if you have to pay an elevated rent of three thousand a month maybe as high as six seven hundred a month of that money may go to the future down payment maybe so there's a percentage that goes towards that and you want to know what those percentages are in your process of understanding the contract and you want to know that that money is actually going towards the down payment and that should help you in that process if, if your contract is, is is like that should be able to select a home so you pick the home you get approved by the investor the investor buys the home and then you eventually buy the home off the investor and it's all done through contracts. <clears throat> High income earners without down payment, this is a good program. It can work. Uh, so someone who lives downtown Toronto and houses are a lot more expensive, they make tons of money but just don't have a down payment, this could potentially be a good solution for someone like that. So on the negative side, of the rent to own program, if you can't buy at the end of your lease contract, you're in big trouble. Potentially lose all of the money that you put as fees, all down payment money, gone. And nowhere to live because you're out of the contract, you no longer can live there. So it could be very high risk because what happens if you lose your job just at the end of your the contract when you have to put a mortgage and you have to get it, you lose your job. Then then you, you can't get a mortgage or your credit is just not good enough or due to the stress tests you just can't qualify the initial fees cannot go towards your down payment uh, if that's the case then that's a problem you don't want that high rent probably higher than the market value so when you look at it the next one here is you do the math it might be a bad business decision. So if you look at the amount of rent you have to pay, and if the rent is way up here, but this much goes towards the down payment, well, why don't you just get a very cheap, inexpensive place to rent for three years? All that extra money you would have spent in this program, you put into a, a separate bank account, and then when the time is right, you're just buying off, a lot less risk. That might be better. But it's good to, you got to na analyze those things to see if it's, if, it's, if it's a good or bad business decision. If you break the contract, you might lose your deposit. <clears throat> who holds the money? So is it the landlord who holds the money that you keep giving that's supposed to go for the down payment? Or is it put in a separate trust set aside for that purpose? So if it goes to the landlord, is there a potential risk that that money may not be available to me uh, or, or, or whatnot. Okay. And the stress chest challenge, you can't buy at the end. That could happen. Of course, at the end of a three or five year contract, who knows what the mortgage rules are going to be? Who knows what your circumstances are going to be? So hopefully this helped for you. Uh, I've had a number of people over the last several years ask me about this program. So I keep explaining it. So I thought it'd be good to do a video so everyone can have access to it. Listen, Really appreciate you uh, being with me today. Please subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and look forward to talking again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.